fresh from uh, nursing class, we've got uh, our, some of our students. So um, welcome to the first Lunch and Learn of the, uh, the school year. So always a fun one to kick off. Um, this is a, a great tradition at Otero uh, to bring the community to the campus and to share uh, what the students are that come here and to share uh, what's going on. We like to say we're bringing the world to Otero and this is the one of the ways we do it. And we do, uh, we do record it and uh, post it later and we have a lot of folks that uh, check out this programming online as well. So we're glad to have it. Uh, my name is Maureen Rickhoff. I'm the Director of International Relations. I want to introduce Jaime Mendoza, my worthy sidekick. <laughs> so between Jaime and I, we, uh, yes, we, uh, we help all the international students who are on campus. Um, this year, we're right at 65 students coming from about 26 different countries. Yeah. Um, so when you think about uh, what a small community we are, the fact that we have such a, a variety and array of people that choose to come here to Otero County, I think is really a testament to uh, our programs, our community, and I honestly have to say that I always feel good about the feedback that we get from students on the reception they get in our community. So thank you for being part of that. So um, <laughs> I see uh, Isaac has talked his brother into wearing the uh, microphone. Uh, <laughs> so a um, what, what, uh, couple, couple last announcements. So Lunch and Learns are the first Wednesday of every month. Um, we, we do take off January because students aren't back on campus. And this year we're gonna try something a little different. In May, we're gonna do a um, celebration of all of our international students who are graduating and moving on, kind of to see what their experience has been like over their year or two years that they've been at Otero. So, um, but the next one in October, uh, appropriate because it's Hispanic uh, Serving Institution Month, we have our students from Spain. We have four students from Spain that are here this year, so they'll be presenting on Spain next month, uh, which I believe is the 2nd, October 2nd. So uh, finally, International Foods Night. Tickets are on sale. We, uh, Jaime and I, we have worked with Sodexo. We're really excited because we've got a Kenyan uh, dish as one of the entrees this year. You'll have to let us know if it's any, any good or anywhere close to authentic. So. <laughs> Um, and then we're also going to do a dessert bar instead of three desserts. We're doing desserts from around oh, the world. Wow. So wow. something to look forward to November 14th. Um, all right. So I'm going to turn it over to the students. And look, I can give you. Yeah. Your... <laughs> so hello, everyone. So uh, my name is Isaac Magut. So I have class today. I was supposed to do the whole thing, but I had him to stand for me because I have class like right now. So I have to get out of here as soon as possible. <laughs> so I came here like one year ago. So Morden invited me. So we worked on some few things right now. I'm working on my associate degree in nursing. So I'm in the nursing program. He was my professor right there at the back. <laughs> yeah. so, thank you. So, I'm gonna leave you guys, and I'll do that. Thank you. <laughs> okay, do you all agree for him to go? Uh, yeah, <laughs> okay, thank you. So actually, he's my brother. Uh, my name is Sam. Can actually, it's Samuel, but you can just call me Sam. Uh, it's my first semester here. I just opened like a, a few weeks ago, and they're my colleagues in my class. So. I want them to say their, their, their names. Hello, everyone. My name is Brenda Tamiati. It's my first semester here, and I'm happy to be at Hotel Community College. Thank you. Hello, everyone. My name is Laura Shintai, and I'm also, I've also joined this whole semester, and I'm really excited to be with you guys. OK. They're pretty, right? <laughs> Okay, so I guess they can have a seat. Uh, we'll be working in turns because they all know about Kenya too. So, 
Who knows anything about Kenya? Anything? Anything about Kenya? So you can tell us whatever you want. <laughs> no, I just want to know if anybody has an idea. OK. So it's a country in East Africa. Africa is big. So it's just a country in East Africa. It's popular in Africa and also against the world. It's actually where uh, it's the home of athletics, like running. Yeah, it's the home of great athletes. So uh, it's a country in East Africa. And then uh, the national language actually is uh, Swahili and English. But the most spoken language is Swahili. That's what you get first before anything else. So it's Swahili. So uh, the capital, of course, it's Nairobi. It's a good place. You guys should book flights. Uh -huh. uh, that's a big population, right? 55 million in a, such a small country, it's a big population, right? Yeah. And it's actually, a, it's, uh, the area of Kenya actually is like a, a state in America, just one state in America. Yeah. OK, the immediate neighbor, are, uh, Tanzania, Uganda, South Sudan, uh, Ethiopia, and Somalia. OK, so the greatest ocean, actually, the biggest ocean, we, uh, the boundary, we share a boundary with Indian Ocean. I don't know if it's all through uh, to the west. I'm not sure, but I guess not. So it's the Indian Ocean. That's the largest water body we have. Uh, so Kushetek speakers from North America. So actually, the origin of Kenya is from the Kushaitic speakers. Uh, these are people who are in Northern Africa, but they migrate all, all the way to our country, Kenya. And uh, that's how the origin of Kenya came. So it was colonized by the British in uh, the 19th century. Yeah, and it gained, uh, it gained independence, actually, in uh, 1963 from the uh, colonizers. And we became a republic in 1964. So the independence was brought about by uh, the famous Mama of Freedom Fighters that was among Jomo Kenyatta. So that's among our, our father in Kenya. Uh, he's the founder fathers of Kenya. So that's where the, the name Kenya came from. Uh, not actually the name Kenya came from. His name came from the, ne from, from the country Kenya. Uh, yeah, actually, he's the late Jomo Kenyatta. <laughs> that's it. So he was our first president. Uh, so also Kenya transitioned into multi-party democracy in 1992. That was when uh, our second president, his name was actually Daniel Toretti Charak Moy. So that guy actually is the one who reformed Kenya to almost its current state right now, but he's also late. Yeah. So this is kind of interesting. <laughs> Yeah, because it's a long time ago. So these are the Mau Mau, the freedom fighters, who helped us uh, gain independence uh, from the British colonizers. Yep. So actually, another thing about Kenya. It's, uh, it's a good country in terms of wildlife, and, uh, national scenarios, stuff like uh, rivers, oceans, forests, animals, wild animals. Yeah, so it's good. It's actually, there's a, there's a season in Kenya where uh, we have uh, wild beast migration. I guess all of you know wild beasts, do you? Yeah, wild beast. It kind of looks like the buffalo, something. Yeah, so there's a time they migrate all the way from Kenya to Tanzania to and fro, and that happens in a season. So uh, the diverse landscapes of Kenya are actually uh, savanna vegetation coastal beaches, lakes, mountains, and Great Rift Valley. So the Great Rift Valley, uh, it's actually, uh, it starts from all the way from the north of Kenya to the south of Kenya. It's actually a depression where, uh, I don't know how, many, how long, like, but it's a depression. It's real deep. Uh, and that's what uh, the Rift Valley means. The name Rift Valley comes from. Uh, so we actually have several national parks and uh, reserves, but the most common of them all is actually the Masai Mara. That's where we find uh, the wild beast. I don't know if we have uh, videos of wild beast migrating. I guess if you watch uh, the geographic channels, the Nadia world, you gotta see you, you gotta see them. Uh, and actually, we have, we've got lions, hyenas, cheetahs, giraffes, rhinos, hippos, and uh, wild snakes. Okay, there we go. 
So this is the peak of Mount Kenya, the tallest mountain in Kenya. I don't know how many feet long it is, but that's the longest mountain. And then we've got a very beautiful uh, coastal line. I guess this is uh, somewhere, somewhere, either Malindi or somewhere Lamu. It's actually places. This is where most people from the West go to. Yeah, and it's a good place. It's very scenic. You can enjoy. And the weather in Kenya too is very lovely. Yeah. So this is what I was talking about. These are the wild beasts, and it's uh, the great migration in Kenya. Uh, actually, from uh, the, the Masai Mara, it's connected all the way to uh, a park in uh, Tanzania called uh, Serengeti. So it's a season. I guess uh, September is when the wild beasts migrate, and then after some while, they'll come back again to Kenya. So we don't own them, neither does uh, Tanzania. <laughs> OK. Uh, OK. So Kenya, it's a traditional country, has a lot of culture. Uh, so we embrace culture. So we've got actually not 40. I guess it's more than 40 ethnic groups. I think it's 40, close to 43, because we, recently we added uh, Hindi as one of our sub-tribes. Hindi, it's actually the mid. The Middle East, the guys from Middle East or Asia, yeah. So actually Asia, not Middle East. Uh, so it's one of our tribes, we adopted them. <laughs> yeah, so uh, there are 40 other several, apart from the Kikuyu, the Maasai, the Luya, the Kamba, Sabaut, that's just about a few, but I have to mention mine. Mine is actually Kalenjin. <laughs> I don't know if you got the name right, but it's Kalenjin. Um, so, we have uh, traditional music, dances, clothes. Actually, I'm sorry because we were not well prepared to have our own attire. We should have at least something like a Kenyan clothes, some tradition, but next time. Uh, yep. So the most popular tribe in Kenya is actually the Maasai. That's our regalia. That's what we, uh, the Maasai people of uh, the community, it's actually a small section in Kenya, not actually that big, but that's what they normally wear, they like jumping. Up high, gets to the roof, <laughs> but that's uh, the Maasai community of Kenya. And then down there is also, I guess, a Maasai too. And that's, they're holding us here, they're always hunters, they take care of cattle, large herds, yeah, I think so. Yeah. OK. Now to the food part. <laughs> so Kenya, uh, the staple food in Kenya is actually ugali. I don't know if you know ugali, but it's a mixture of flour and uh, water mixed together in heat. You make something hard, not that much hard, but a little bit soft that you can eat. So that's ugali. Yeah, moist porridge and uh, green vegetables, mostly, mostly sukumawiki taken with grilled meat. That's what we call nyamachoma. It's actually good. So very good. That's what, when you arrive to Kenya, the first thing you should ask is nyamachoma. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, so uh, actually, the common, uh, the common plantation in Kenya, actually, what we grow in large scale is actually maize. Not actually the maize. I don't think the maize we have here, not actually corn. It's more white maize. And that's what we use to make ugali. Flour comes from maize. So uh, the most popular dishes, actually, uh, these are some of the most popular, chapati, pilau. Chapati is actually, I don't know what you call it. <laughs> I have no idea. But it's more like the covering of a taiko. Oh, yep. tortilla? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so that, that's what we call chapati. Uh -huh. And then samosa. Samosa, I guess it's uh, uh, at the round long staff, uh, there are, um, what do you call them? Uh, no. so say, more, more kind of like sausages, that's what we call samosa and, uh, okay, and then gideri. Gideri is a mixture of uh, beans and maize. That was, uh, yeah, beans and maize. Yeah, <laughs> beans and maize, but uh, the maize, actually not the, the, the corn, but 
actually the, the, white, the white maize and uh, beans. But for you guys, I think you put honey and some stuff, it's so sugary. So for us, we put salt. <laughs> yeah. So the popular beverages is actually tea, chai, chai. I think most of you have ordered, I oh, don't know, yeah. So most of you have actually ordered uh, chai. I think chai latte from Dutch Bros. Chai latte. <laughs> Yeah, so it's milk, water, sugar, tea leaves. Okay, now this is a Kenyan dish. So good. So this, <laughs> this one right over here is uh, the grilled meat, sukuma wiki, kels. I've never seen anything like that here. And then, I uh, don't know what that is. Salads. Huh? Salads. I guess those are the salads. More like cabbage, fried cabbage. Yeah, yeah, that's it. This is a good meal. You eat, it, you eat it at five. Oh, I forgot the main part. This one. That's ugali. Made from maize and flour. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, uh, agriculture, tourism, uh, that's what's common. Uh, actually, agriculture. It's good in Kenya. <laughs> Tourism too, because we've got several national parks and reserves. Uh, okay, and these are middle enders. I think we're rich. <laughs> Not actually middle enders. Uh, yeah, it's, we are rich. Okay, the major challenges in Kenya actually is um, unemployment. Yeah, we've got a huge youth population unemployed and uh, political instability, I guess. It's more common. And then climate change, but it's not that adverse. The temperatures in Kenya are so good. Uh, we actually use degrees Celsius, but I have no idea if you guys understand that. But we range in the normal temperature. The normal temperature for degree Celsius actually not less than nine degrees and not more than 27 degrees or 30 degrees. So that's actually less than eight Fahrenheit. Yeah. Uh, okay. <laughs> Hmm, okay. Those are the economy and the challenges. I guess we're good with that. Are you ready for conclusion? Okay. Okay. I think <laughs> social media. Okay, I think a huge chunk of Kenyans are in so social media. We follow we, we, the youth with so much in social media. Me too. So uh, these are traditional clothing for the Maasai too. These are, these are the Maasai and those are the attire, there are some traditional pots over here. Okay, some ladies, I guess some dancing ladies. I wish you could have made some videos because they're so nice. And then, uh, yeah, and their decorations. On top, I think that's what they put on their necks. Yep, that's the decoration for their necks. And they actually come out. Yeah, it's not that they are permanent, no. <laughs> and then, uh, uh, over there, uh, on the uh, almost to the top, those are what we call. Uh, I don't know. I think they're just things like uh, it's wood actually. It's actually wood. What they've made, they've crafted it to be like human beings. Yeah, but they're not real people, <laughs> of course. And then up there, it's actually the Kenyan food again. Let me see. Yeah, it's actually the Kenyan food, and I guess there's beef in there, grilled meat. Again, and on the outer, this is the Kenyan flag, right? Yeah. On the outer mast. Kenyan flag, tradition, yeah, and the food on the top. Yeah, got it. So only to conclude, Kenya is a good place to be. You guys should just go there, enjoy the scenic views, the climate. It's a good climate. You can stay all the way, the same weather from January through December. Yeah, the same, the same temperatures, but maybe rainy seasons, but it's good. It never, it never goes to negative, never. <laughs> we don't get snow over there. <laughs> so we don't have, the, we don't have any, any need with the four wheels and snow, no, 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 no. <laughs> so actually that's what, what it is about Kenya. It's a good place to be. And this is actually the average height of Kenyans. <laughs> yeah, thank you. Oh, okay. This is the easy part.
the questions. Questions. Should, should, should be about yeah. food. Yeah. Oh, OK. If someone was to visit Kenya, what would you suggest they try or do to experience? OK, visiting Kenya is it's a good idea to go when the wild beasts are migrating. Tourism. When you go, yeah, give a tour to Kenya, yeah. And also, yeah, I guess tour and uh, to the our cost. Our cost is really good, yeah. Yep. Uh, my son, he went to Nairobi. OK. To the uh, operations lab. Uh -huh. he, uh, he said he loved the country. He loved the country? Yeah. Kenya is a good place to be, I told you. <laughs> Okay, actually, most of Kenyans, me, not me, have the Kenyan bracelet over there. Yeah, I have mine, but preserved. Okay, I don't want it to be old. <laughs> <laughs> Any question? You had a question? Yeah. Are you going to have that uh, food that you display there for the, uh, what's that? International, International food. Place? International. Yep. I'm going to. We're having something. I don't know. The folks at Sodexo have come up with, with we'll have to have you check with them to make sure that. Okay, we've got to have, yeah, it's the, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, we are yeah. having something for me anyway. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you got to have it. Okay. So, yep. Uh huh, okay. Oh, go ahead. You talk about grilled meat being one of the staples. Yeah. What type of meat? Actually, mostly beef. Yeah, mostly beef. Mostly beef, yeah. Yeah, that's it. All right, I was just going to ask, what surprises you the most about the United States? What were you not expecting? Really? <laughs> um. <laughs> I don't think I have anything, but. Um, it's not a surprise, though, but it's a good place to be. Yeah. Yeah. So, so what brought you to Otero? What brought me to Otero? Yeah, why Otero? I guess, you, I guess Otero has a good nursing program. Yeah. So and, uh, yeah. all three of you are hoping to not go actually. through the nursing program. Yes. Actually, yeah, yeah, yeah. You had a question? Because you have some of the tallest people in the world for the Mossad, right? Mm. Uh, not actually that much tall, but they jump higher. They have flexible <laughs> knees. <laughs> they're just flexible, but they're not that much tall. Yeah. Flexible. Yeah, flexible. Are the really tall people that have been Mossad? Is there a tribe that's known? Yeah, I think so because on our north we have, you are close to the Sudanese. Yeah, and you know what Sudanese are? Tall. So much tall. So actually, I think to our north, they become taller. Yeah, but actually, the average height is actually the tallest they can be, maybe that guy. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, so this is the average height, yeah. I don't see anything else. Any other question? What is the religious makeup? Religion? Different kinds of religion. OK, we've got uh, majorly Christians. Yeah, majorly Christians and Muslims. And Hindu, yeah, I think that's the major part. Yep. Anything else? Anybody? Yeah. Joel never disappoints. Another so, question. So how do you speak English very well? Oh, I do? I didn't know that. <laughs> mm, I learned it at maybe, uh, say, grade one, because I started, my three-year-old me, Swahili. Swahili. Yeah, that's what's common. But the moment to get to school, you get to learn English. Yeah, but actually the Britain, British English. Yeah. So Victor and I were talking about um, a phrase that we all know in Swahili. He That's what I was asking earlier. And he, he 
was surprised that I knew he had a t-shirt that said Akuna Matata. And I said, oh, we all know what that means. You guys, you want to tell us what Akuna Matata is? I think there's a song, Hakuna Matata. Yeah. Yeah? <laughs> okay, Hakuna Matata is actually no problem. We got no problems in Kenya. No problem. For Kenya. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So if we're all going to know one thing. To okay, say, the first thing you arrive at the airport, you'll see Hakuna Matata. Nairobi. <laughs> so you should go to Kenya without Matara. No problems in Kenya. Yeah. So actually, the most common word again, apart from Akuna Matara, you want to say hi, but it's all stuff, it's all school. You have to say Jambo. Jambo, yeah. Jambo. Jambo. Yeah. So that's actually saying hi to everybody, all ages. Yeah. I can say jumbo to Maureen, I can say jumbo to him, I can say jumbo to you. Yeah. That's it. Ed? Yeah. Is the word, is the, uh, I heard this word one time, podabo, is that Swahili? What? Podabo. Podabo? Podabo. Podabo. No. Maybe a different, a much more. Podabo. No, I think a much more different accent with that. Maybe the same word, but with a different Maybe accent. No, 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 I don't think so. <laughs> we don't teach people bad stuff. Right. Yeah, special language, yeah. Oh, yeah. How long was the flight and how many flights? Oh, you can take a direct flight. That's actually like uh, 18 hours. 18, yeah. Oh, yeah. 18? Yes. That's a direct flight. Yeah, but uh, connecting flight maybe 21, 24, 21, 24, yeah. Depending on the airline, yeah. yeah. Have you been affected much by the problems in Sudan? No, I don't think so. We only have a lot of Sudanese. That's. Do you have refugees coming in? Yeah, Sudan? we have a refugee, several refugee camps actually. Yeah, most of them from Sudan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And Congo too. We have a small country called Congo. It's our neighbor. They are affected too, but we hold them as refugees. Yeah. Any other question? One more question. Anyone? Joel? I know you got one. You asked all your questions. So what was, the, what was the new word I just told you? Anybody? I mean the new word I said, apart from Hakuna Matara. Oh, wow. You're not a slow learner. <laughs> You're not? You okay. Thank you. Thank you is asante sana. Asante. But the way we write it, I guess it's more different. You guys are going to say asante, as, as, something else. <laughs> but it's asante sana. Yeah, asante sana. Okay, thank you. Asante sana. I don't know how they got it. <laughs> oh yeah. Do you do you want to tell us? Um, maybe tell us uh, the flag. What? Yeah, and we want to get a picture with you also. But um, do the colors represent anything specific, or th is there a story about your flag? Yeah. So, actually, oh. So, actually, oh yeah. <laughs> okay, I want to explain the colors of our flag. So the black represent our color. Our skin color is black. So this means our black color. <laughs> then the, the white color represents the peace that we have in Kenya. So the white means peace that we had after we got independence. Then the red color represents the blood that was shed during uh, the independence, when we gave, uh, before we gained independence. The people who fought for independence, they shed a lot of blood. Many people died. The green color represents the green vegetation that we have in Kenya. Uh, we have green vege vegetation, so this means the green vegetation. This flag should not be held up, no. It's actually the blood on the top. Yeah. yeah. So anytime you do the other way, I'm going to notice it. Yeah. <laughs> It's gonna be open for me. <laughs> yeah. So this is all about our flag. What does the middle mean? Oh, the middle—that's uh, like uh, 
the national stamp. That's the stamp for Kenya, the national shield. And actually, they have meanings. You see a spear? That's a shield. It's a two spears and a shield. Okay. Yeah. I think that's it. I think we're gonna get some of those so that you guys can see actually in person. Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna have a real one. Okay, thank you. Sure. Uh, it was pointed out that we do not have a Kenyan flag in the cafeteria, so we are working on it. We have one ordered, and we will get a Kenyan flag up in our cafeteria for you guys. So, thank you very much, and look forward to seeing everybody October 2nd, if you want to learn about Spain, and appreciate uh, all of our Kenyan students, and uh, thank you, Sam, for stepping up. Your brother made a great slide presentation, and you did a great job, so thank, thank you. you.